So in the last video, we configured our first attribute, which was styles, and we added three terms, circle neck, polo, and uneck. Let's head over to our product, and we're going to add a new variable product. We'll call this plain purple shirt. And go ahead in the description. This is another excellent purple shirt. Now, instead of being a simple product, the key here is to choose a variable product. You'll notice that when we did this, the attribute tab shows up, as does the variations tab. Click on attributes, and let's choose styles as our key attribute here. And we'll select all of the terms that we created. They'll be visible on the product page, and we'll use them for variations. Go ahead and click Save Attributes. Click on Variations, and WooCommerce makes this really simple. Go ahead and click Create Variation from All Attributes. Click Go. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to link all variations? This will create a new variation for each possible combination. And the answer here is absolutely. Three variations have been added. Click Close. And now I can see my variations, number 22, 23, and 24. Now we can click on each one to change specific things. By clicking on the down triangle, I can add a skew. I can change the price. I can change all of the elements that you see here on the screen, including adding a sale price for one variant and not the others even. I can even add an image for each variant. Let's go ahead and do that for these three variants. Click Upload an Image, Upload Files, and once again, grab the files from your downloaded folder from OS Training. Go ahead and upload all three of those files. We'll get them done quickly here. Let's grab the circle shirt. That's the variation we're on. Add some alt text there. Set variation type. And there we are. I'm going to click the triangle again. Let's click on polo and grab the polo image. And set variation image there. You can see how easy and quick this is to do. And let's grab the uneck and set that image up. And set variation image. Wow, that is really easy to do, really simple, and really fast. WooCommerce makes all of this incredibly easy. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. Don't forget to click Save Changes. It gets pretty frustrating if you don't do that here in this section. Select your category. The last thing we need to do here before we move on, because I almost forgot, is to actually add the prices for each one of these. Now, the neat thing here is I can expand all three variations at once and add a price. Go ahead and put $20 in there, $20 for the polo, and $20 for the UNIC. And then go ahead and Click Save Changes. And once those changes are saved, go ahead and let's add a product image because otherwise there won't be one. We'll just use the Polo one for now. Set Product Image. Click Publish or Update depending on whether you'd already saved it or not. And here's our plain purple shirt. And you'll see instead of adding to cart, I can now select options. I'll click Select Options. And here's my circle neck, my polo, or my uneck. And there we have it. I can now add to cart. Using variable products makes your store much easier to navigate for the end user. You have less information to manage. Setting up those attributes is kind of a pain to do the first time, but once they're set up, creating variable products isn't hard at all, as you've already seen. Attributes also display on the front end and make your product page a little easier to read for human search bots. Let's take a quick peek at that. If I click on the product itself, 
and click on additional information, you can see that the styles are also listed for me here on the product page. If you ever want to add custom information to the additional information tab, you can manually type in attributes on the edit product page. How far you want to go with attributes is entirely up to you. The more information you provide to your customers, the more likely they are to buy because they feel safe and secure knowing everything about the product. And so attributes are really, really important. You don't have to create variants for every attribute, but as much information that you can provide as possible is always really helpful. Well, congratulations on setting up a variable product. This is arguably the hardest thing to do with WooCommerce. There's a lot to think about with attributes and variations, but if you can build your product pages with variable products, the rest of WooCommerce should be pretty easy to set up.